last year, our pastor, Dr. Brad Gwinner, shared a song and a devotional on what a dad ought to be. Hello and welcome to From the Shepherd to the Sheep, our daily devotionals with our pastor, Dr. Brad Winninger. My name is Tyler Candy. I'm the media director here at Central Baptist Church in Woodbridge, Virginia. And I'd like to thank you so much for joining us today. I hope that you'll be subscribed to our YouTube page. I hope that you'll follow us on Facebook and Instagram and listen to us on wherever you listen to your podcasts because we are everywhere you could possibly think of. We do that so that we can get the word of God out to a lost and dying world and you are a part of that. Would you share this with somebody else and follow us on those platforms? We have seen tremendous growth. Uh, we're up 400% on, on uh, subscribers on YouTube. We're up thousands of interactions on Facebook and Instagram, and it's only because of you and by God's glory and His grace that we can possibly do this. And we'd like to continue going on for Him. Now let us listen as our pastor speaks on what a dad ought to be. Just the right blend of leader and friend. That's what a dad ought to be. Toil and recreation in right combination. That's what a dad ought to be Lord let me be a father like thee guiding my children to maturity may they in me that's what a dad ought to be teaching us living so patient forgiving that's what a dad ought to be to our weakness kind and to past failures blind that's what a dad ought to be Lord let me be a father like thee guiding my children to maturity. May they ever see your likeness in me. That's what a dad ought to be. That's what a dad ought to be. That's what a dad ought to be. We're celebrating Father's Day. I'd like to lift up my dad and all the dads and say God's grace is sufficient for us and the Holy Spirit's filling is enough for us to be what God wants us to be. If we'll just yield to Him, we can be the kind of dad God wants us to be. In Proverbs chapter 17 and verse 6, it says, Children's children are the crown of old men. That's grandkids, and I would say amen to that. And the glory of children are their fathers. The glory of children are their fathers. They're the role model, the one they look up to the one they expect to do right and to behave right. And there are times we have to apologize to our kids and our grandkids because we're not what we ought to be. But we have no excuse. There's no reason for us not to depend on the Lord and to show that loving kindness, that long-suffering and patience that a dad ought to. 
I trust that you will today. And why don't you honor your dad and the dads that are walking according to the Word of God and leading the way the Lord would have us to. Let's pray. Father, thank you so much for all the dads. Help us to honor them today and help us as dads to once again renew our vow to obey and be a role model and be a leader that can be followed. Lord, I pray that you'll help us in this area. With heads bowed and eyes closed, there might be a a dad or someone else that needs Jesus today. Would you call upon the name of the Lord? Just pray from your heart, Lord, I need to be saved. I ask Jesus in my heart right now. Take away my sins. Make me new from the inside out. Take me to heaven when I die. And if you've prayed that, let us know. We'd love to help you. God bless all the soul winners out there, those that are sharing Jesus with others. And God bless the dads today and the grandparents. God bless each of you that are a role model, each one of you. God bless you today. And if you need something special, let's pray about it. Lord, I pray for the sick, for the hurting, for the needy. Pray for those that have relationships that need repair urgently. Help them today, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. That's what a dad ought to be. God bless you today. You are listening to From the Shepherd to the Sheep Daily Devotionals. This is a ministry of Central Baptist Church in Woodbridge, Virginia. If you would like to learn more about our ministries, you can find us online at cbcwoodbridge.org. You will also find many other helpful resources there, including preaching, devotionals, and songs. We thank you for listening to this devotional, From the Shepherd to the Sheep.